Nate, um, the brilliant choice now in hindsight of, of um, hiring Nate, I mean, uh, Ryan Kugler, um, who we've known him from Fruvo st st Station. Um, it's character driven, um, independent filmmaking. And then all of a sudden you you bring him on to this big scope film. You know, can you tell us about the importance of, of having Ryan's vision in the film? Yeah, look, he... Um He's such a talented filmmaker. Fruitvale Station was actually a film I saw with Joe Robert Cole, who co-wrote this film with Ryan. Uh, and I remember being so impacted by the film because it was a story I didn't know, but uh, uh, he got such a great performance out of everybody. And to some degree, that's how we build our films anyway, which is how do you get a filmmaker who can get performances, regardless of the scope of the, the visual effects or the action, how do you tell the story of T'Challa and Shuri and uh, Nakia and M'Baku in a way that's going to feel really personal. Um, and Ryan, uh, as a director, is so talented in that respect that we knew, look, we can surround him with technicians to learn the things that he doesn't know. And, and the truth is he's such a quick study, it wasn't hard for him to get up to speed. Um, but to Kevin's point, I think this film is so personal to Ryan, and I think that's part of why it's so special and, and why crowds really responded to it, because they feel um, the real conversation Ryan's trying to have with the audience. Um, Letitia, what was it like for you to, I, I mean, I, I, this is like the fifth time I watched the film, and you're phenomenal in it, you're working with Mr. Bozeman, Michael B. Moore, but then you have all their royalty with you, you have uh, Angela Bassett, and you have, um, you know, um, Forrest Whitaker. What was it like to be part of this, this incredible ensemble? Uh, it was an, uh, like a complete honor because I grew up watching their films, you know. I grew up studying their films. I grew up on watching Angela Bassett, you know, do her work and find a film that I loved and that sparked my, my love for acting and just being able to, you know, when we had our first reading, we had a dinner after and just go up to her. It's like, I know you're playing my mom, but you're the reason why I started this thing seriously. You know, you you dived into an independent film about a little girl playing, you know, uh, wanting to be the best at spelling, and that's why I'm here. So it was a complete honor, and they treated me just with love and respect, you know, having met Chad and, you know, immediately off the bat knew he would be my brother for life. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, meeting everybody along, along the way, they just, it was the same process. Everybody loved and respected one another. It wasn't like, oh, you're a newcomer or you haven't been in the movies before. It was kind of like, hey, let's teach you what, what we can and let's work together. So yeah, they, they helped to bring that performance out, you know. Um, yeah, I'm honored, man. <laughs>